The reason why we tend to read capacitor consoles, especially old ones, is that over time the capacitors do start to fail. And what this means is two things. One, the console won't function properly. You may notice this in terms of poor audio, for example, especially on CD-based consoles like the PC Engine Duo here, which I'm working on. And the second is that when they start to fail, they do start to leak gunk all over the board basically and that gunk itself does start to corrode and the corrosion can then make the uh, console completely inoperable so we do need to get them out of there and replace them with a new one one to stop this damage happening and two to keep the console working but if we keep watching here we will see that after I get this capacitor out which I don't do very efficiently that's because I'm working around my camera which is on a stand right in front of my desk I don't have a brilliant setup but cutting the capacitors off is a valid way of doing it but I will uh, link below to a video where it's demonstrated much better than I've ever done here mainly because you're supposed to go I believe in the direction of the pads which you can see there and now where I'm scratching with my tweezers that is where the board has actually started to corrode as a result of a bad capacitor so we don't just take a capacitor off and put a new capacitor on we actually have to clean up properly before we do this so what I've got in my hands here is a uh, basically I call it a uh, solder sponge it's a bit of copper of some sort like a pad and you use it to heat up and it soaks up the uh, solder that you want to take off again I'll link to an eBay listing or something just so as you can see exactly what this is and it is very effective for getting the solder off the board so as we can get any of the gunk that's now part of the solder off the board so again that'll stop any future corrosion and once we've done that we then need to clean the pad as well So to clean the pad what we do is we use a q-tip otherwise known as a cotton wool bud and some rubbing alcohol preferably as high percentage alcohol as possible as you can see just ignore the little bit that I pick off there that's the leg that's left from the capacitor that I should have really made a better effort of getting rid of originally as you can see all the dirt on the cotton wool bud is as a result of the corrosion as a result of that bad capacitor now fortunately when I first saw this I thought this might not be savable because of how bad it looked but once cleaned up we can see there is still a little bit of pad there and it is just enough and was just enough for me to get a bit of solder on and get the new capacitor on there as well so I was fortunate in that respect but you don't just stop you go until the uh, pad is clean and I mean you can't see any more dirt on your q-tip or cotton wool bud because otherwise that's still there it could cause corrosion again in the future so it's important we get it sparkling so this is not going to happen again and it also means when we put our new solder on a new capacitor on it's a better connection as well basically and this will then help with the performance of our unit when we get that sorted anyway forgive the jump there you can now see that the pad is clean and I'm prepping it for the new uh, new capacitor by putting solder on each pad and just to demonstrate that there was enough pad left there you go I have been able to get a bit of solder on there if I hadn't I would have had to have found somewhere else on the board that I could solder to and again this just demonstrates that the uh, oh I've done a bad job there this just demonstrates how important it is to replace them not just for the performance issue but for the life of the console if the corrosion eats away too much it's done you're finished your console's done unless you can find somewhere else to solder to or get that capacitor connected to what we're also going to do is just quickly in that jump there just go to these two capacitors which are the ones in front so as you can see how different the pads looked after the capacitors were taken off much healthier. Hope you've enjoyed and thanks for watching.